So, you caught your first queen ant. Now what? Welcome back to Ant Singapore. Sorry for the lack of uploads lately because I've been busy. And today I'll be discussing how you should raise your queen ant. So first off, we need to classify them into two types, fully claustral and semi-claustral queen ants. Fully claustral queens are the queens that require no attention and all you have to do is leave them in the dark and quiet place for maybe 3 weeks to 2 months depending on the species of the queen. They do not need, their, uh, need food because they dissolve their wing muscles and use it as protein. However, they will need food after they have their first workers because these wing muscles will eventually um, be all used up. So um, here are some examples of my queens which are semi claustral. This queen here is a Fidole species queen and I just caught her about 5 hours ago and she shed her wings um, which is a great sign of fertility but doesn't um, confirm it. I'll just be leaving her in a dark place and here I have an elbow sparsis queen and I caught her at the same time with the Fidoli queen but sadly there's no wing shedding here so I will be also be placing her in a dark place and also I've, I've just checked this Campanotus species queen I left in the dark for about a month now and she has a pupae although this pupae could be a male it's unlikely and chances are low about um, based on my experience, about 95% of the time when there's a pupae um, and it, de it developed to that stage, it's usually fertile uh, but there's still, there's still a slight possibility that um, an infertile queen lays infertile eggs which develop into male elates. Semi Semi-claustral queens however will need more attention. Something I've noticed is that semi-claustral queens are usually more rare than fully claustral ants. This is understandable because semi-claustral queens need food before they have their first workers. They will go out to hunt for food alone in the wild and often that leads to them being killed. If you have a semi-claustral queen like this trap jar queen I have here, I would recommend providing them with a soil setup. Semi-claustral queens will need a diet um, during their first founding stage so yeah you just have to feed them like you normally do to your colonies. Also I amazingly caught this Carabara queen today. I placed her in this box full of soil and it's already making its cozy little claustral chamber. Have you seen these elates mating? If not, when I caught this queen I found some males for her and they mated. However, this does not mean that this queen is definitely fertile because Carabara queens may need to mate up to 16 times to be fertile. Sorry for the absolute potato quality that I'm going to show you but I had to film this with my phone one handed and I was really excited. So anyways, this is the end of the video. I hope you've learned something on how to keep your queen and after you've caught it. Thanks for watching. Bye.